Hello everyone, this is a film recap. Today I'm going to show you a movie called Sundance. Prepare your popcorn let's go. At the beginning of the film, we can see a male escort dating site, showing several different men trying to sell their bodies. Angelo, Lance, Skyler, and Ricky are the guys for hire on the site. We can see that Ricky was chosen by a young woman who was using the website in her room. The girl makes the reservation and suddenly the door opens, and we can see Ricky appearing there. They call her by her first name Enid, she turns around looking surprised, he approaches her and suddenly takes her in his arms and then kisses her. She pushes him back a little surprised then the man asks her if she had chosen the direct crack crack option. She replies no, the man is a little surprised and confused, he's got the wrong woman. A little taken aback by this man's reaction, she then decides to send him away from her house, the man replies not to cancel because in fact he hasn't had a relationship for over a month. She gives in to this man's advance, then she walks to the kitchen and pulls out a lot of cash. The man replies that she can pay by credit card, but she prefers not to have traceability, she prefers to be discreet. The man says he will be very discreet. She asks him that she will need his very special services, the man asks her a lot of different sexual practices and who would be very professional, the girl laughs a little stressed, but she says it's just to conquer a man who his name is John, that's why she would need him. She loves him very much and says she is very professional and that everything is going well in her life, but that love does not succeed her and she is very much in love with this man. She explains that her goal would be to hire him for 48 hours so she could practice as if it were a real relationship with him. Like that for her appointment on Friday she will be ready. The gigolo accepts, then she gives him clothes for tonight's test at the restaurant, because she has a reservation. A little later in the evening, we see the gigolo sitting in the restaurant, then she arrives in a very short red dress where we see her cleavage a little too much. She doesn't quite know how to walk in her heels, she looks a bit ridiculous at first. She says she learned on YouTube how to show off her curves. She then calls the gigolo by the same name as her dream man John to better be in the initiation. They talk to each other about everything and nothing, the meeting seems a little uncomfortable between them. Then the evening ends, they are then seen going back to his apartment. She then tries to kiss the man, a little shocked he tells her it's too early maybe for a date, then he asks her if she's a virgin, because she looks like she doesn't know how to deal with a man. She says she already has someone in her life but no one slept in her house. The gigolo then offers to try to sleep with her, so that she knows what it's like to sleep next to a man. She can't sleep because he makes a lot of noise, he snores a lot all night. Day breaks, she asks him how it is possible for couples to sleep together. Then the scene takes place in a park, they organize a picnic, suddenly the girl begins to insult the gigolo pretending to try to simulate a couple argument. The man then tells him why not have a real argument between you and me. He starts insulting her and telling her why you don't try to really do the workout for example really sleeping with me. The girl replies that she likes what he is telling her. We then feel that she is beginning to really appreciate the relationship with her gigolo. Then we return to the restaurant 24 hours before John's official appointment. She asks the gigolo if it would be possible for him to be there during the meeting with John, hiding at a table behind. He replies that of course he will have time for that, the woman compliments him telling him that he is a good guy. She begins to open her heart little by little, she says that she has achieved many things in her life, but love does not succeed her. She starts to cry and then Ricky comforts her by telling her that there is no manual for love. And that no one knows how to go about it that it's rather natural, and that it will come on its own. Ricky the gigolo cheers him up. Then we find ourselves in the bedroom, she proposes to him that they touch each other on their side but without making love, and the man replies that he also likes this idea. Both look oddly like they have chemical attraction if you know what I mean. The next day while they are walking in the park together, Ricky receives a message from Gigolo's website, he is happy because he has a booking this evening with another woman. A little sad Enid tells him that he had promised he would be there during his date with John, but unfortunately the man has no choice but to accept his escort job. He says he needs money because there are hospital bills to pay. She tells him that she really needs him for this meeting, because she could mess everything up. The man tells her no because she seems ready because she asserts herself much more than before. He even tells her that she is a bit too selfish. Enid leaves a bit furious, returns home, begins to prepare thanks to YouTube for her very important appointment with John. Dressed in the same dress, she returns to this famous restaurant, 
she is apparently four minutes early before the arrival of her suitor. She starts to take her phone and Elle writes to John telling him that she gave him a fake plan. But suddenly he appears but we don't see what he looks like. Strangely the scene cuts at this moment. We then see that Enid recommends Ricky on the website. A week later, Ricky arrives at her house. She had paid Ricky for just five minutes. Just to say sorry, Enid then asks her how her date went. She told him the first was good, the second was good, but in fact she thinks he's not her type of man because he always talks about his ex. Enid looked genuinely happy as if the experience had opened her eyes. She then asks Reiki how her gigolo date went. But she tells him, wait, don't answer, we're going to eat together at the restaurant. The story ends so we understand that both have a mutual attraction, do you think something will happen between them? I personally think so, answer in comment. Forget to subscribe, thanks.